Thank you, Cheryl. <coughs> Yama Bohmat, um, Chief Minister of Penang, Ms. Lim Guan Eng, um, the Honorable Members of the EXCO, Professor Dr. Wu Wing Tai, um, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I would like to welcome everyone here today to the launch of the Penang Paradigm, which is the Penang Institute's proposed five to ten year development plan for the Penang government. The ultimate vision is to create an international and intelligent state that embodies the principles of holistic development in order to forge a balanced society by the year 2023. The Penang paradigm was of course not produced overnight. Lots of research, discussions and thinking have gone into this document. Many rounds of consultations were held with civil society, government agencies, academics, and of course today we are here to present it to the people of Penang for consultation and feedback. A public exhibition will be held here in the town hall downstairs uh, for two weeks, including weekends, as well as the Manara MPSP in Banda Perda in Sebrang Prai, starting from tomorrow. Uh, the one in Town Hall starts today. We encourage as many people as possible to come, view, and to revert to us with feedback. Now, <clears throat> the Penang paradigm is by no means a revolutionary proposal. In producing this document, we were greatly aware that there was no need to attempt to reinvent the wheel. After all, there are many success models out there, and the best thing we can do is to learn from them, which is exactly what we have done. We have studied why, economies, why economic strategies work and more importantly, why some economic strategies don't work. And we have then applied this analysis to our state of Penang. Penang, of course, is an economy that has seen its ups, ups and downs uh, from its uh, heydays as a regional entrepot to its late 20th century glory days as the leader of industrialization in Malaysia. And we feel this analytical process is important because as Professor Wu will no doubt explain later, any comprehensive and long-term solution must necessarily be cognizant of not only what has been proven to work, but also what has been proven to fail. Ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves today at a crossroads. We are essentially caught in a transitional phase of the global economy in which the world is struggling to adjust to the decline in Western consumerism and at the same time a parallel opening of the East Asian and uh, Indian subcontinent markets. So as an export-oriented economy built upon the demands of Western consumerism, Penang now has a need to rethink its strategy. Of course, at the same time, a very interesting development is happening all over the world. If there is one thing the recent global financial crisis has taught us, it is that economics is not the only part of the equation. The North American housing and financial meltdown, coupled with the sovereign debt crisis in Europe, has reinforced the need for greater fundamentals. We have now seen how, without responsible regulation, unfettered capitalism can cause an implosion of greed and financial ruin. In other words, good and clean governance is necessary to ensure stability, predictability and efficiency. And in the aftermath of the financial crisis, the world has also learned another lesson, and that is that economic growth alone is unable to ensure lasting prosperity. As the Occupy Wall Street movement has pointed out, often the benefits of development are reaped by the 1%, leaving the rest of the 99 out in the cold. Therefore, social justice and equitable income distribution is a critical factor. And at the same time, justice is not only important socially or economically, but also environmentally. Without a sustainable development agenda that recognizes the need to conserve energy and minimize damage to the environment, there will be no world left for our children. Hence, the Penang paradigm is an attempt to understand these factors localize it in the context of Penang and indeed Malaysia today and to formulate a proposal that will propel us into the next phase of our future. 
which is an international and intelligent Penang based on a balanced society which encapsulates material prosperity, political empowerment, social progress, intellectual creativity, environmental sustainability, and cultural vibrancy. Finally, I would like to thank everyone involved in this project, uh, with particular reference to my colleagues at the Penang Institute. All of you have worked tirelessly in the last few months to scramble to put this together for the people of Penang. Uh, with that, I end by saying thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy our presentation today and the exhibition below. Thank you.